Hey guys, Chainfire here, and welcome back to another episode of PYOB Monday. Hey Panther, hey Mr. Blade, hey Resonance, hey Gus, hey Flex, hey Clyde, hey Tracer, uh, hello John, hey Blue, Blue Home, I like that name, that's cool. Hey Martin, hey Nicholas. Hey comic, Gentle Slinger, what's up man? Gentle Slinger, you want a schnitzel? Hey, I am blessed. You're a noob here. No worries, my man. <laughs> hey, PJ. Hey, Poma. Hey, Jose. Hey, this trade. All right. Who's the text going to? Uh, I wasn't talking to you, Cortana. But uh, thanks for your input. I appreciate you anytime. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So you got you know how this works. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see what we have as far as requests uh, for today. What are we going to be running today? Jesse Panadas and Pins. All right, residents. Let's try that. Doesn't have a lot of firepower, but that's okay. Like I, uh, I was, I was, like I've said in the past, guys, we're always gonna put put our um, further weapons in the front. So the top is going to be our further weapons. That's our 500 meter range in this case. If we're building a uh, Jesse with pins and pinatas, we're gonna make sure that those pins are on the top because they can fire at 500. And then we're going to flip and fire the 300 meter range weapons too. Let's do it. Uh, oops, I'm doing that in the wrong order. Sorry, Flex. PYOB, I run uh, solo. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to be... Uh, I'm not going to be receiving any requests at this time. Um, okay. So I accidentally actually set it up the opposite way. But. Wait a minute. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Here we go. Put the second pin over here. Alright guys, now also, um, many of you have been requesting to know what song is playing in the background. So uh, I set it up now in a way that you can see what song is playing in the background and it'll have the name of the song and the artist. Hey Predator! Hey Nicholas! Well, we have a lot of new faces here today, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, what else do we have? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what other requests came in. I'm sorry, the chat is moving a little faster than it normally does. Can I do a Griffin Orkin Mag? You got it, Gus. That is uh, called the Hellfire. 
or at least that's what I call it, the Hellfire Griffin. Magnums and Orkins. So that's uh, that's good because you have that constant uh, Orkin fire. Uh, the Ork, sorry, the not Orkin, but Magnum fire. The Magnum is the uh, second strongest weapon as far as damage. Um, I don't know with all the changes, maybe things have changed, but currently, that's still what's up. By the way, guys, if at any point your stream uh, starts buffering, just go ahead and uh, reload the page. I do apologize about that in advance. Hey, Aiden. Hey, Chris Hunter. I've been playing War Robots for two years now. Um... A little over two years. All right, let's see what else we have. Hey, David Swin. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. Uh, I'm currently not in the clan. All right, let's see what else we have in requests. By the, way, by the way, guys, as far as requests, unfortunately, I don't have all the weapons maxed, but I am in um, Champion League, so all the requests have to be from what I have maxed, and I have all that in the uh, description. <clears throat> so make sure to check that out when you're sending in those requests. Hey, Kimmy. So I'm right now working on... Um, more to Lumbas for my dock, and hopefully as soon as I have that, uh, we will be able to run the full-on Tulumba dock. And actually, I think it's gonna be really crazy after the um, after the update. Hey, Elk. My favorite bot to run is the Jesse Plasma. The Jesse with Terran Mag. Okay, Andy, I see we have a request over here for Orkin Doc. You got it. Oops. That's odd. I thought I turned off my... Uh Thought I turned off my Facebook. Apparently I didn't. Alright, let's see what else we got going on here. Carnage Trident. So a Carnage Trident is, is okay. I'll do that. I can run a Carnage Trident. Um, honestly, when it comes to the, the Carnage, I think... Carnage, you, if you're running a Carnage, you should you should run it with um, you should run it with um, thunders. Reason being, it just doesn't have enough firepower for the most part. Um, if it's just two of any of the heavy weapons, the heavy weapons you want to run two or three, uh, sorry, three or four. So I mean, you know, a butch, for instance. Actually, tridents, because they reload so fast, a butch full trident is not your best and most viable option. But uh, it's only a possibility. As far as the Carnage goes, I say either run Carnage uh, Thunder or Carnage Zeus. One or the other. But the, uh, the tridents is... I mean, I'll run it. I'll run it and we'll see. We'll see how we do. Alright, and then Jelly's friend requested a Galahad Plasma, so let's go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for everyone who sent in their requests. I will be switching out this time. Uh, I don't always do this, but I will be switching out because we have more of an audience this time. Um, I will be switching out hangers somewhere during the live stream and accepting more requests. But let's start with this and uh, we'll start rolling. Let's start rolling some games now. Let's have some fun. That's what it's all about. Alright, so let's take a uh, quick look at our hangar right now. This is fully maxed. Everything here that we got. We got a Jesse with uh, pins and pinatas. We have a Griffin um, Hellfire, which is Orkins and um, Magnums. 
We have a Doc Orkin, we have a Carnage Trident, and a Galahad Plasma. Only one Plasma robot. But let's go ahead and see how this uh, let's see how this works. Let's have some fun. Hey Lee, hey Fred. How's it going, Jake? Welcome. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm actually going to start with a Doc Columbus. Sorry about that, boys. Uh oh. Mind your way? Your Majesty. I like that name, that's cool. Alright, basically the thing you want to do with the dock is you want to try to get into good cover because it has very high heavy firepower. And we're also going to see how the dock can take out a Ancelot. Um, if we get the opportunity, that's an RDB back there. So we're going to make sure we want to stay out of his 500 meter range. Alright, let's start working on this Ansel shield. Oop, ouch. And that is a DB Griffin. I can't let him walk my way. He's going to try to. Ouch, ouch, ouch. See, the thing is, it's got very heavy firepower, but at the same time. Shit, get hit behind now. Fuck! Um, it's got very high, heavy firepower, but it doesn't have a lot of hit points. So you gotta be super, super careful. See, all of my teammates went over to the other side, so I kind of got stuck here on my own. Like I said, again, we're going to shoot the 500 meter range weapon, and then we're going to flip and shoot our close weapon. In this case, because of reload times, um, I did flip. There are, I got two more seconds for the um, Pinatas, but I can flip again here shortly. That is the RDB. Ouch. Lock onto him. As soon as he lands, we're gonna unload. Uh, a lot of times, um, their you know the legs get stuck when you land with a Griffin, but sometimes it doesn't happen. This time we are gonna wait uh, the few seconds it's gonna take us to reload. We're gonna try to hit something at 300 meters. Lock onto this guy who's super close. We got 500 meter range on this. So it doesn't have so much firepower. The Jesse in general doesn't have a lot of firepower, but it does have speed. So it's actually going to be decent and viable in some some of the long maps. All right. Let's try to get into position over here. We're going to fire our pins, our pinatas. Sorry, our pin, pins. And the pinatas right after. Awesome. Oh. Switch right. out. behind this right now. I'm gonna wait those three seconds. Actually, you know, we're gonna wait the whole four seconds because we do need to uh, save our ammo here. We need to be able to use that. Uh, we need to be able to use those pins. Let's go ahead and flip. So we are low on beacons. Let's see if we can grab E. We're gonna flip real quick. Use our pins here. That DB just jumped, so wasn't able to get away from everything he fired. What's going on over here? Uh. Oh, that's a hellfire. Oh, the Orchids! Oh, the Orchids! Alright, let's drop this guy. Let's bring in our DB Griff. The DB Griff is gonna, uh, basically enable us to be mobile and get around this map easily and fast and that's kind of what we need right now because the uh, beacon bar is just on point right now so we want to make sure to have either something really fast that can cap beacons but at the same time a griffin is really really perfect for most situations the only thing is um, you're obviously gonna have to work along with your teammates because it is a squishy bot. 
people are pretty heavy back there and we have only one teammate. That's why I'm not moving that way. We have only one teammate that way. Get up his way. Wait for that griffin to jump. As soon as he lands is when I'm gonna jump. Ouch. Alright. Oh, I forget I'm not full death button. I'm not used to running uh, magnums. Alright, let's just constant fire our magnums here. So, see, the problem with the Hellfire Griffin is. Hold on one sec. Is, um. It requires extra, extra work for you to basically holding down on those um, magnums or be firing your magnums and not firing your organs at the same time. Alright, now I'm pulling out something with an energy shield because I do currently, I need right now the, uh, I need the energy shield current right now because there is a lot of splash on the board. I feel a little bit too much range. But... Try to see if any one of my teammates moves in. I will provide my energy shield for him to be able to get something done. Uh oh. Ah. Ah. No bueno. Try to provide my shield for anyone who wants to move in, because I currently cannot. I'm gonna corner shoot those uh, tridents. Let's lock onto this guy. I'm gonna curve our shots. If you're running in one direction, your shots will curve in that direction. Let's try to see if I can sneak in to get this beacon. Not, not gonna happen. Let me get one more shot at this guy. Alright, oh well. Last but not least, let's see what the Galahad can do now. This is a tricky situation. Alright, so our teammates are a little spread out, but that's okay because I don't know, let's see if he'll be able to no, he won't be able to stop him. I left my shield open over there for a second just so I can get to better cover faster. I want to try to prevent this guy from getting our beacon. So sometimes you're going to take a couple of hits just to have that uh, extra speed. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, I have to back up. Not walk into those orcans. Trying to see if I can fling and get their home beacon. It's be hard because they have a Fury Trident back there. They have a lot of splash right now on the field. Got to bait that Trident into into a shot at me. See if we can. Oh, oh. I got stuck! Ah! I'm closing my shield and moving backwards. I do have speed. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, even with your shield closed, though, um, as far as the Galahad goes, even with your shield closed, if you're over 200 meters from your target, like 220, 230, and you're moving backwards, most of his Orkin's not going to hit you. Um, so that's as far as that goes. I know that they said something about changing those mechanics in the update or in the test server. So, um, so I don't know. Maybe your Android players can tell me. Um, can you Android guys tell me if that changed in the update and if it's now harder to uh, evade um, Orkins? Let me know about that. See, I'm going to give it a second and see here in chat. 
Um, but that was a decent round for a hanger like that. That is a limited hanger for top tier. Um, but uh, yeah. Hey, Edge. Um, what did I miss about gold? I've done, I've done a, I've probably given away over twenty thousand gold on my channel in the past, or it's just somewhere around there altogether. Oh, okay, you're talking about someone else. <laughs> Alright guys, try to keep the uh, chat here uh, drama free and friendly. Um, where are my moderators? There we go, we have David Swinton in the house. Is David working all alone? David, let me go ahead and... Um, I am going to... Let's add another 10 seconds over here to the... Um, to the slow mode this way chat is not uh, going nuts because currently chat is going nuts it's going crazy it's going loco all right let's roll out we're gonna go another we're gonna hit another game over here but um, yeah yeah we have a lot of splash currently right now in our in our hangar so it's good close maps are good for that Um, I totally, I totally messed up with that dock in the beginning, though. That was terrible. That was terrible. And don't learn from that. That's you learn what not to do. Make sure, make sure to look at your surroundings and notice and see if your teammates are like, "Bye, Felicia." <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can take your dock over there and, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so moon map. This is good. The doc actually does really good on moon map. But let's go ahead and start with the carnage. I'm just gonna get this guy out of the way. Um, fortunately, with moon map, you can turn over, and you know I don't usually like to uh, freak out when it comes to um, the. Uh, I don't like to freak out when it comes to the uh, beacons on this map because fortunately you can always turn the table. I don't know always, but. Um, frequently you can turn the tables pretty fast. Alright, we're gonna use our rush over here, we're gonna try to get a shot in, uh, and then back out. Try to get double damage there by, uh, hitting in between them. A lot of times you can hit both targets because, um, the Tridents do have a splash radius of about, um, 30 meters, which is pretty significant. Oh, uh, prematurely shot. But that's okay, I'm gonna try to sit here on center beacon. So we have someone else sitting on it, so I'm actually gonna try to get their home beacon. They have a lot of splash back there. And uh, that doesn't really scare me as much as losing on beacons. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna lock onto the, um, the Galahad. let the griffin go because he went that far so make sure also you know be uh, picky and choosy about your targets because especially when you don't have a lot of firepower you want to make sure that you're using whatever you do have the best possible way um, for instance now with you know just two tridents Make sure to get out of teammates' way when you know that they're going to have to back up. Try to just make room for them. Um, even if you're trying to move in and do damage, just um, make sure because two is always better than one. So that's another piece of advice. Let's go ahead and use the dock. We're going to go ahead and um, bring it underneath. Um, that's probably the, the, the best place for the dock to sit. And then you're just going to be basically playing angles and ranges. And we're going to lock onto this guy. He's got... Let's see. Let's see what he's got. He's plasma. Try to corner shoot at him a little bit. 
he can't run away at this point. He can jump, but you land pretty fast. So that's an easy takedown right there. make it, but let's see what this guy is. He's a rhino. Gonna run away. I'm gonna flip my weapons here in just a moment. Let's try to get a little more out of that uh, one flip. Now he's got protection from an Ancelot that's coming there. We're gonna let them come our way. We got some trouble at home, boys. I'm getting hit from behind. This is no bueno. Ouch. Ah. Um, all right, let's get something fast. Like I said, you couldn't, you could flip on beacons, but I do want to get the beacon advantage. Once you get the beacon advantage, I, 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 you can make more precise decisions, and that's basically how I like to roll. My team is doing really well in this case, though, on beacons. Um, my teammates are really, really working together here really nicely. This is a good game. Getting away from workings is really easy with the dock. So that's definitely one advantage. It's really, really light, but um, it can get away from those really easily. Again, we're trying to get double damage there. Now we're going to lock onto the closest target, flip, and fire. Alright. Wow, we got them five caps here, boys. This is amazing. I'm actually going to... I'm going to get off of this beacon, let the guy who's on top of me try to get it. I'm going to wait until those pinatas reload, fire those, and then fire my pins. Awesome. Good deal here, guys. Good job. And just about the same amount of reload here. We currently have our um, pins up top. And down to one Panada. The, um, the Fujin. The Fujin has amazing firepower, guys. Um, it, you do have to be very, very careful. It's a very situational bot, but that is three... Terrans or three Orcans at a time. Terrans do 71,000 damage per clip. So we're looking at uh, 210,000. It's, it's a little more, but roughly. Uh, 210,000 damage per clip. The clip is 8.4 seconds, and then it, the reload is 4.8 seconds. The cycle time is incredibly short. It's only 14 seconds. I think it's 14.8 or 14.4 seconds cycle so it's 210,000 damage per every 14 uh, every 15 seconds so we're, we're looking you can do 800,000 damage in a minute um, with the um, with the rise with the Fujin um, the Fujin with plasma so that is a very very viable uh, setup right there but you do have to be very careful uh, people tend to be not careful enough and therefore, I always recommend for people to use their workshop points to get a Carnage as opposed to the, uh, the um, Fujin. But the Fujin is viable and it is a pretty decent uh, robot. <laughs> That's cool, Adrian. I'm glad to hear that. Hey guys, let me ask you this. Is the when it says the now playing on the bottom with the name of the song, is that too big? Should I make it smaller? Or um, is that a good size?
You know what, guys? I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to switch to that. Most of you have seen the Griffin. You've used one in action with pretty much any combination. Let me go ahead and do that. Whoever requested the Hellfire um, Griffin, that's a cool build. I mean, it's, it's difficult to run. Perhaps I'll run it again a different time. But I do want to go ahead and show you guys some Fujin gameplay. Um, and just to uh, basically validate a little bit what I said before. And also, you know, I want to get some Terrans in here. I don't have enough, um, I don't have that much firepower currently. Let's just hope that uh, we don't get any uh, farm maps here too much. Um, Alright, let's roll. Let's do this here. That was a good game though. Whoever um, whoever the player is with me on, on my team, good job you guys. That was, you rocked it. That was just amazing. Everyone was all over the place and um, working together and, and grabbing those beacons. That was cool. Hey, uh, Eric, what's up, man? <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. Cool. Thanks, Philip. Awesome. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for letting me know. If, you, if anyone thinks it is too small, when this video goes up for, um, for playback later, um, leave your comments. So all of my videos are available for playback. All my live streams, sorry, are available for playback. Uh, typically about um, an hour after I stream it. <clears throat> so um, there, right now, anything you comment is live chat, and that actually is included now in the videos. But uh, once it's available for playback, you can comment on it just like you comment on any regular um, Facebook. Uh, sorry, YouTube video. <laughs> Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush center here, try to grab center, and then see what's up from there. Basically, uh, play it by ear. I can already hit this guy, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I keep forgetting that this thing is so small, it can actually get stuck. <laughs> oh, I'm such a noob. Oh my goodness. That was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> I didn't even get the beacon. Oh my god. <laughs> we have Mr. Wowboy there on the other side. Look at that. Wowboy is one of our one of our regulars here. That is too funny. Alright, at least we got someone shredding that Ansel. Until that happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're advancing a little bit too fast for us. I'm not comfortable with this. We're going to use our rush to get away from that guy. And that guy, as a matter of fact. And that guy, as a matter of fact. Gotta curb my shots there and not get hit. Yeah, the uh, Carnage Trident is definitely not a, one of my uh, top recommendations. Um, if you're going to use Tridents, you want to equip them on a um, a Fury and play conservative. That is your best option. We are getting four caps. This is no bueno. Unless... Unless it's a situation like this, like me and this guy can do some decent damage because now we got four tridents going on here. Uh oh. I thought that guy was an advanced forward actually. He actually moved backwards. Of course, Wowboy is targeting me. Thank you very much, Wowboy. Always a pleasure. Let's go ahead and use our Fujin in this case. We're actually going to. Um, play this conservative and carefully um, only plasma is really a concern of mine right now Try to get this guy first okay got our home back 
We are going to probably need a 4 cap somewhere along the lines of this game, somewhere throughout this game. That guy was just shot an RDB at this guy, that was a complete waste. So RDBs are super ineffective, like pretty much completely ineffective against uh, Ansel shields. So don't even waste your ammo. Use your ammo on someone else. Let's go ahead and empty our clip here. Like I said, this has extremely heavy firepower. I'm not sure what my teammates are doing right now. Alright, right on. We're going to need a 4 cap if not a 5 cap right now. behind here. tricky situation here. Like I said, you gotta be really, really careful with this bad boy. Oh, sorry, buddy. Try to stay behind cover here. See if I can't sh corner shoot at him. two weapons and now they have a lot of plasma going on here. I'm just waiting for that trident guy to fire. And there we go. Alright, let's drop this guy. We're going to bring out our Galahad. If we want to try to do anything in this game, we're going to actually have to con we're going to have to um, <clears throat> basically hope our teammates go for center right now and grab it. Um, I don't know if this guy's going to make it all the way through to the end, but I'm going to follow him Try to see if we can get a 4 cap on them right now. If we have any chance of uh, turning this around, it's only by getting a 4 cap and holding it for the rest of the game. Lancelot, and that'll be game. Mm -hmm. Oh ho, ho! Wow, boy, with the RDB. Cheers. Ha! <laughs> that was pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. How do you corner shoot? That's a very good question. Um, corner shooting is basically just using using whatever cover you can as a physical shield. Um, and it's pretty simple. I mean, you just walk up to whatever object it is. Um, I'll do a little demonstration in this next game now. Cheers, wild boy. Good game, man. Good game. What is this song?
let's skip this. <laughs> All right. Moon map. After this game, guy. After this game, guys, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and request uh, accept more requests. We're gonna switch out our hangers here. So let me again uh, just use this and get rid of it first. Um. Obviously, don't get me wrong, if you have a max carnage, or if you have a carnage that's in good shape, and um, and you you know you only have uh, two tridents, you're working on your third, and you're working on your fury, whatever it is, uh, this is the next best thing, I guess, to fury tridents. But, uh, again, like I said, when it comes to the carnage, what I would equip on a carnage is either Thunders or Zeus's. So we're actually going to keep our rush right now. I'm not sure what this guy is in. Try to corner shoot at him. And then use my rush exactly on time to get rid of all of this freaking. <laughs> they were raining hell on me just now. Try to get all the way to the corner if I can and just provide a distraction so my teammates can get in better positions. This will be a good use of this guy. Wait until he lands. And then fire. Hopefully my shield is going to regenerate, but regardless, I'm going to run backwards, get out of his way. Okay. A lot of it, uh, a lot of the time, is a matter of positioning. Dang it. Um, it's a matter of positioning. <clears throat> wow, we got them five cap right now. I'm going to bring out the Fuji, and I can be really, uh, I can be, I can play really conservative now. So, um, whoever it was who asked about corner shooting, um, let me give you an example right now. We're going to corner view first. We want to see what the guy is in and if he's facing us or facing the other way. Now, corner shooting is getting up to cover and then just using one weapon to corner shoot. That guy with the splash is going to move him back. Alright, there we go. Alrighty. He's coming back for round two. Let's lock onto the next target behind him. See how far this guy is. All right, we can move in here. Actually, this is a good combination. The uh, guy in front of me, the DB Griff, he and I can do um, a lot of damage together. I can provide him um, physical energy shields. So it, that was just. Uh, I did have to back up there. So unfortunately, I couldn't help my teammate there. There's uh, too much action going on in that direction. Alright, hopefully this Rhino... Oh! Oh, he had one more Terran. He had one more Terran. Right, let's bring out our Doc. We still have the Beacon Advantage, so I'm going to bring out the Doc and again just try to play conservative here. I really like this map. I, I've always been a brawler. I always like uh, close quarter combat, I guess uh, you can say. What I like about this map is things like that. Like, someone can surprise you. I mean, that guy was, you know, twice they show up at our home. They're like, hey, what's up, guys? Alright, let's be careful here. Still afford to be conservative. Right, Want to flip? Okay, let's see what this guy is in. Just trying to lock onto him. Corner view here. Oh, it's the Rhino, isn't it? No, nope. it's a Griffin DB. He's gonna hurt. Eee! Ah, dang it! 
Not very good. Not very good. I thought it was that same rhino. I should have. I should have figured. I should have known. That was totally my bad. My bad. We got our pins here. It's a good range. Kind of give them an angle. You know, not fire them directly at the uh, at the box, but a little bit of an angle. So you see how the green crosser is a little bit ahead of my target? I, I actually needed even more of an angle there. Now the reason I flipped over there is, again, because both of my weapons are pretty much going to reload at the same time. Um, sorry, my other weapons are going to reload at the same time that I have my flip again. So again, I always want those, um, those pins up front and the pinatas out back if I can... Um, if I can easily just flip in, in between them. All right, let's corner view and see if this guy's plasma or a splash. He's plasma. He's splashing, but he doesn't see me. He must be AFK. There's no way he would have turned around and be like, "Hell no, you're dead." <laughs> uh oh. Wait until he lands. Alright, let's hit this AFK guy again, and then move into center. Check ranges. Alright, that was a good game. That was fun. A lot of beacon switching. Beacon. Beacon switching. That that was fun, but yeah, that was uh, 5v6 over there. I guess that uh, guy who was AFK was AFK from the beginning, and that's why also um, it seems somewhat easy uh, a good a good portion of the time. It almost seemed easy. Hey, what's up, Faded? How's it going, my man? All right, well, let me uh, let me go ahead and, and see how you guys are doing. Also, um, any more requests, go ahead and send them in right now. Some of the requests that are coming in right now, guys, I'm going to uh, go ahead and switch out from what I have. To build those other, um, to build those other stuff. Mr. Blade AFK means away from keyboard. It's an old expression. Um, shoot, <laughs> we started using it back in like the AOL days. I don't know if <laughs> any of you are old enough. Well, David, you definitely know what I'm talking about. A lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, back in the day, there was a chat with uh, AOL. That was basically like the Facebook, the uh, the the Instagram, Twitter. Um, you know, line chat, Discord, uh, everything um, that was basically the one. And the connection was that really old internet connection, and you had to be connected through the Ethernet. There was no such thing as Wi Fi, and it had that, <laughs> that squeak. <laughs> it was really funny. Sorry, those. Those were some old times. And yeah, and, and, and when someone was, um, it, it looked like they were online. Um, but they actually weren't online. They were considered AFK, away from keyboard. You know, if you were messaging someone and, uh, hey, what's up? Good morning. Um, <laughs> and they didn't answer. Apparently, they fell asleep next to their computer. Or they fell asleep and forgot to shut their computer off or start connected. Um, and that was considered AFK. Later on, we actually have different statuses. Um, now, you know, orange and green and blue and red lights uh, indicate if someone's online or uh, not online and all that good stuff. All right, let's see what we got over here. We got a DB Rhino. All right, let's do that. We got a DB Rhino. We got... Um, Kaden, do you mean RDB Griff? RDB, okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to switch out. We're going to switch this bad boy out. We're going to build an RDB. Uh, for those of you guys on Android, you already got the update. And by the way, for those of you who are saying that the update made like I, I read a post on Facebook the other day it said um, rest in peace RDB um, guys it's actually the opposite the RDB is stronger and better now with this update so um, I'm actually looking forward to running that because till now the um, RDB required a lot of skill um, the RDB re required a lot of skill you, you really had to make sure not to waste your ammo and one of the things that I bake on when I play against RDBs is I'm going to be able to bait them into a shot that they're going to take and deplete their uh, ammunition 
and then I'll be able to move in and take them out with, let's say, a Plasma Galahead or a Plasma Rhino or a pla you know, anything uh, Plasma, you know, or, or whatever it is, be able to move in and take them out. Whereas in now, when they can actually hold their fire, they're a lot stronger versus uh, Garrus and Galahead. So Garrus and Galaheads are actually um, uh, threatened now by RDBs. RDBs are are they can do some serious damage to those shielded bots. So um, yeah, so that's that's about that. Um, then we had a DB Rhino. Let's go ahead and throw that one in. I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. I did brush up on my Rhino skills a little bit after last PYOB Monday. I kept running it a little bit. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Griffin with Geckos, Terrans, Pinata, and Talumba. Nelson, um, first of all, hey and welcome to my channel. Welcome to uh, one of my live streams. Let me go ahead and talk about ranges here for a second, guys. So many of you, uh, we actually have more viewers than we normally do, and a lot of the viewers I know, a lot of some of you guys are brand new to the game. Um, a lot of times when you're new, you build robots, you build builds that have several different weapons, and your mindset is actually perfect. It's a great thought, and I love it. Um, your mindset is, well, you know what? If I build a Rhino and I give him one pin, one pinata, one Terran, and one Orkin, Right now, I have the best of four worlds. I have 500 meter light, I have 500 meter medium weapon, I have a 350 meter Terran and a 300 meter Orkin, so I'm able to do Splash, I'm able to do Plasma, we're able to do a little bit of everything over here. And you think, you know what, that's great. And you know what, it actually is, it's somewhat okay. Problem is though, it's gonna be hard to handle. Especially with, let's say, a Rhino. If you're doing it with a Griffin that can move around, that's one thing, but if you're doing it with a Rhino, Rhinos have very, very difficult maneuverability. Therefore, you want to make sure that whatever weapons you put on it, they're all the same range. So this way, you have the same mindset. You know I can get into 350 meter range and do this and this amount of plasma damage, then open my shield, stay covered, or get behind cover if we have splash coming our way. In the other hand, if you're a full DB, DB stands for death button, death button is Orkins and Pinatas, right? Like I have on my Rhino right now. Full DB, you know it's 300 meter range, and that's all you gotta think about. All you gotta actually calculate is staying out of everyone else's 300 meter range and being in 300 meter range when you're ready to fire. Um, so this is the reason I always say try to keep your ranges the same, try to keep your categories the same. So in other words, either full plasma or full DB, right? DB can also be like, you know, splash, or you know, when it comes to Griffin, for instance, you wanna make sure a Griffin RDB, Russian Death Button, which is the, um, which is the Talumbas and, and Pins. Those are all 500 meter weapons and they're all splash, right? You'll notice you're always gonna try to have all your weapons the same range and the same category, either splash or plasma. Zeus, Gecko, Leo. Um, I had the Zeus, but I don't have geckos yet. I'm gonna try to get some geckos too. It's hard for me to keep up with, um, you know, a lot of the things that I get requested are things that I, I never used to run. I have a lot of workins. I have a lot of max. Um, I have a lot of max stuff, but it's all what I'm used to running, or basically what I needed while I was advancing. Um, and I never actually saw like Punishers or Mobots being all that effective, so I never I never maxed them out. Geckos, I never really liked them. Um, I did max out Trebs way back in the day when I was in Chrome House because they needed a sniper. None of us had um, uh, Trebs and we needed a sniper. We were getting Springfield a lot. Springfield was, we didn't have the maps that we have now, like some of the new ones. Um, so we got a lot of Springfield, we got a lot of um, of, of the um, Yamantau, the uh, moon map, the, sorry, the um, snow map. Let's run, let's go ahead and run this, uh, this setup we have right now. We're going to run this for one game and then we're going to, we're going to move on from there. Um, Fury, two times Zeus and an Ansel counters RDBs. Um, yeah. Yeah, Mythic, I definitely see that. And hey, welcome. I'm um, glad you joined Mythic. David was having a hard time here without you, man. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we're up against. All right, so we got a Griffin. We got a, what looks like a Natasha with, um, okay, so we got a lot of Griffins here. 
Um, I need something with a shield, so let's start with this Fujin. Let's start with the Fujin. We're gonna go to our home and we're gonna try to. Hey, what up, boy, boy? Yeah, <laughs> he's saying no. Uh, uh. Yes, yes, Fujin all the way, buddy. That guy has tried it, so I'm gonna lock onto him just to make sure that uh, I can stay out of that 600 meter range. Now, notice also the color of the uh, geckos. There are four colors, I believe. Make sure that uh, you look at the different colors. Um, you can always go to the wiki wiki page, and on the wiki page, it'll tell you um, what colors mean what. But uh, know your ranges, know your your weapons. It's very important in this game, guys, is to do your um, do some research, you know, and every day just uh, look into it a little bit and be like, okay, well, how much damage can I do with, you know, this and this weapon or this and this robot? Know your ranges, know your weapons, know your damages. Go to the wiki page or just Google War Robots and then the name of the weapon. The first option there is going to be um, a informational page. I do see the guy on the top, but he's actually uh, not as much of a threat. The RDB uh, currently is not as much of a threat to me as the uh, the guy with the organs. I'm just gonna stay here and let my um, let my Ansel shield reload if possible here. Maybe uh, this guy's gonna make a mistake and move out. As soon as it's fully loaded, I'm gonna continue advancing. Too. Lock onto that guy. Because he, I think, is about to make a mistake. Oh, that guy wants to. Nice. Okay, he put up a shield on time. My shield is full. So let's move up here. Got about to fire. Gonna, I'm gonna break through the shield. Um, one full clip of my weapons will break that Galahad shield. The Galahad has 199,000 hit points in its physical shield. So um, just one full clip will, will smash the shield. See if with the elevation I'm able to hit this guy. Not quite. Okay, we're gonna need that. Hit him with my top weapon. Alright, I'm gonna get taken out now. Uh, let's just go ahead and bring out our dock. Or actually, the RDB is gonna do better. And it might seem like a waste, but I know I'm not gonna need that. The way the game is going right now, these guys are playing so conservative. And, um, and so scared and we're spread out throughout the map in a way that there's no chance for them to win this at this point unless they make a serious push together and work here together for for some kind of advance um, these guys have to work together right now they have too much range out that's also a mistake careful of that trident guy back there I'm just going to fire one to see if I can fire over it. I can, so I'm going to fire the other. Ugh. Oh. Get away. See, now, with the update now, that wouldn't happen. What's up, buddy? With the update now, that wouldn't happen. I wouldn't have wasted my Talumbas just now. Try to angle. We're gonna try to let our, our fire curve. Um, 
all the splash weapons curve when you're moving in whatever direction you're moving into. So it's just a matter of practice. You know, you're going to lose at first, you're going to miss a lot of shots when you're attempting that. But don't be afraid, I mean, if you lose a few shots, it's okay. Because the only way to learn is by practice. And if you don't practice, um, you know, letting your weapons curve, you're never gonna, you're never gonna get good at it. It's hitting me from behind, for heaven's sake. Ouch. Alright, so they're finally making some kind of advance here. They're pushing forward. Oh, that's the guy with the Zeus's. If you're getting hit with aphids, try to just turn to your side. Alright, there's no getting out of that. Let's go ahead and use our Rhino here. Are they down a player? Looks like they might be. They might be down a player. One of our Orkins, because the Orkins reload fast um, and reload while firing, you always want to, if, if you're taking shots that you don't know if you're going to hit, that's the best to use. The best to use is your Orkins, not your pins, because the pins do have a reload time as opposed to reload while firing. Push him back to the wall. Oh, dang it. Got that DB jumping for me. Meh! Fail! Terrible fail. But uh, the best way to use the Rhino when you're up against uh, a Plasma Griffin, uh, sorry, yeah, no, a Plasma um, Galahad is try to push him back against the wall or something. Especially if he's over 200 meters away from you. Again, like we said, shield open or close. Most of your Orkins are not going to hit. Orkins or Pinatas. Alright, so that was easy and fun. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves so far. If you are, make sure to go ahead and hit the thumbs up so more people can see this video. Um, let's see... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fujin Orkins. Alright, so let's take out the dock. We're gonna we got several requests here for Fujin with Orkins, so let's go ahead and switch that, that that out. The Fujin with Orkin you have to be even more careful. And then let's see what other requests we may have gotten here. My win percentage is garbage right now. Yeah, 54%. I uh, I haven't been able to play so much, and also I've been playing primarily solo lately. And solo games have been really, really tough uh, recently. It's been really rough. Um, but just in general, like, we have a lot of times like this. Like PYOB is is sometimes <laughs> it's tough, you know. I'm not always helping my teammates so much. Hey, Prakash, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Hey, Joe. Hey, performance. How do you make a lot of money? You have them maxed out. Any tips? You know, performance, you'll actually, you'll be surprised, but I've only spent, um, I think like less than 50 bucks on the game. I really haven't spent that much. It's just a matter of, I, I played a lot. Um, definitely like my first year, I used to play four or five hours. Well, yeah, almost four or five hours every single night. Um, 
You know, on my days off, I would sometimes play for 12 hours straight. Like, I've had crazy stuff like that. In my first year of playing this game, I was playing a ton, and, you know, I, I got really good, and um, I, I'm not going to lie, you know, I, for a little while I was, I guess you can say, a damage whore, but I was an overall all-player, like, you know, making sure that we get in the beacons when we can, uh, you know, but I wasn't always, you know, necessarily the first one to, um, you know, to sacrifice for a beacon. Um... You know, but, it, you know, I pretty much, I had, you know, I wanted to win. I wanted to make sure I win and get top damage and, you know, and and top beacons. So pretty much getting 10 gold every game, game after game. Um, so, yeah, there's that. You know, it really is not, I didn't spend a lot of money on the game. I have all my stuff maxed out just by playing. Um, Ansel Lancelot, you got it, Jonathan. What uh, what weapons do you want on that, uh, Jonathan? Two thunders and two tridents on a butch. Okay, we'll do that. Um, let's go ahead and put our Ansel here. Um, I am waiting on. Jonathan, what do you want on this Ansel Lancelot? So I got the Lancelot, it's got the Ansel. Do you want plasma or let's do let's do plasma. Just so we have a somewhat balanced hanger here. And then we had a request for a butch with um Tridents and Thunders. So I've actually uh, never run that before. I know that uh, it didn't seem very effective when it was run against me. Um, but let's find out. So now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the thunders on the bottom because this way we can take down Ansel shields on the top. Sorry, and then we're gonna put our tridents on it. Or actually, yeah, yeah, this is better. What I'm thinking is actually because the tridents have a 600 meter range. Maybe we can put the tridents and then fire those and then fire the thunders and then switch back. Um, but the thing is, if we're playing on a closed map and somehow they get really close to our spawn, we will want to have those thunders handy. Let's run it one of one game each way and we'll take it from there. We'll see how things are. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, there. And uh, he said plasma is cool. Okay, cool. Hey, the tank. What's going on, man? Shane be looking sophisticated while looking sideways. That's funny. All right, let's see what we got going on here. I think this would be a good time to test out this butch. But let's bring out our RDB first. I actually didn't even realize I have two support bots in right now. And that's not really fair to my teammates. Try not doing that, guys. Not having two support bots. So anything 500 meters and up is considered a support bot. Right, we're going to continue moving this way along with this Griffin. This is a Fox player, so he, he, can't, be, he can't be terrible. He's got to be pretty good. advance here Let's try to get that beacon and see where we're gonna we're gonna go from there sorry hubble wasn't covering my face just now this guy is our closest target I think <clears throat> uh, congregated over on their side and that side I'm gonna try to stay with this guy this other Griffin but also stay out of his way. If he has to back up right now, he can. Okay. All right. Awesome. It's good teamwork right there. Teamwork, baby. Got to let these curve around the building. Not sure what this guy is in, but he's got an Ansel shield, so. 
try to hit that real quick. That guy just brought up his shield. Oh, dang it. He just needs one more love tap with Plasma. He just needs someone to tap him with a Terran or a couple Magnums. That guy, I think, is jumping for center. No, he's not. Just gonna give him the tap that he needs. I'm actually not worried about um, much of this. Um, much of the splash we have going on here, because none of that can really do all that much damage to my energy shield. Right. I'm gonna try to corner shoot at this guy if I can. Plasma versus plasma. Um, all right, sorry. <laughs> I have a hard time multitasking here. Let's try to break this guy's shield. The guy behind me. I'm looking at the crosser on the bottom to try to see and indicate where he's going. So I see he's moving to the left right now. He's gonna come up behind me. So I'm gonna have to turn and face him here. All right, let's move in, take him out. Get that beacon and then we're gonna come back for the Rhino. All right, that guy's gonna finish him off. Lock on target. So also that practice locking on target here, guys. Um, lock, locking on target is always going to be uh, helpful to you and your teammates um, because you're not going to miss as many of your shots. He's got to face one of us here. That was a waste. He finally took down my Ansel and he moved back. That was a waste. Reload. Oh, oh, I just needed a bit of Ansel. Ah, dang it. Alright. Well, well, well. Go ahead and try this, Butch. If you're thinking about it now, the tridents are probably going to be better up front. Now this is where it's going to come into play. It's too far. Alrighty then. That was an interesting game. Tridents may be better up front. I'm gonna switch those around. Because we can always also just flip straight at the beginning. So let's try that. I think that'll actually be smarter. Let's roll. <laughs> for those of you looking for a clan, there is a clan recruitment group on Facebook. 
make sure to check that out. There are recruiters out there all the time. Okay, let's take our uh, lance to center. Try to clear out. I see there's a lot of griffins over there on the, lot, on the other side, a lot of splash. Give yourselves a couple of seconds, you know, see what the other guys are spawning and then spawn your robot based on what they're, um, what they're running and what you're going to need to counter it. Also, if like if you see a high priority target, make sure to read his name and then lock on him and focus on him. I'll do that occasionally. Okay, let's see what crazy Daisy is running. So we're going to use our rush over here because shortly this guy's going to be able to shred our Ansel with the um, the Thunders. I'm actually going to move forward, go grab that beacon. One of my teammates is going to grab our home beacon. So don't concern yourself and don't waste your time when you're four capped. Try to do whatever you can as fast as you can. Lag there. Oh, Garrett, this is so tricky. <laughs> ah, die already. Oh my goodness. Yep, I'm going down. Ah, my teammates are not even looking that way. This is no bueno. We're low on beacons. Alright, let me let me do this. I need an Ansel shield right now. I need to have energy shield because they have so much splash going on there. Not sure why they're moving in center. <clears throat> cover because that Galahad can do some serious damage. Oh my goodness. Whoa! My teammates, all those teammates that moved underneath there, they couldn't even hold it. That was not very smart. That was not very smart. I think there were three of them underneath there. And we still had someone coming at us from that, that direction. I'm not sure what's going on with my teammates right now. I'm not sure what this guy is thinking also. Way back there. We need to be pushing right now, we need to be moving. Hmm. There's three of them down there. I'm gonna have to try to go over here and go around. There's no point of just staying there because they have the beacon advantage right now. They're not going to be advancing. Advancing. They they're way far be in front of us <clears throat> on beacons. They're just going to wait for us to come at them, and they're going to take us out one at a time. What we have to do is try to get um, angles, try to flank directions. Here he comes. Damn, he's almost dead also. Jeez. <sighs> yeah, you can't let yourself be under so much beacon pressure. I'm gonna try to just get it. Dang it, should have fired sooner. Just figured I may as well uh, unload on him, get some of that Ansel down, and help my teammates. I don't, I'm not sure why they keep moving that way. Uh, it's a lost cause. We need to we need to try to flank size right now. That's our only chance. <laughs> this 
gonna try to because of that hill. Uh, he's using the hill for his advantage for cover. Oh, that was a terrible game, though. That was really bad. That was really bad. The lack of teamwork there was uh, very, very visible. Um, so what I was trying to do there is basically just um, move, have him move to the left side and then jump to the left and fire him, fire at him where he can't use the um, where he can't use the. the hill for cover all right we're gonna roll one more game here guys and uh, this is going to be my last game all righty let's see what we got going on here So in this case, if we spawn and we can't see the enemy team, we're going to go ahead and take a few seconds to see what our teammates are spawning. <clears throat> and based on that, we can also uh, decide what to spawn. Because yes, we can't see what they're running, but we can see what our teammates are running and bring out complementing bots. Complementing bots are usually going to run, you know, if you see you have a lot of plasma on the board, you're going to bring splash and vice versa. Or if you see you have no energy shields, you're going to bring out something with an energy shield. Um, things like that. Right now, based on what I saw my guys running, some splash would be... Um, some splash. Uh, this Rhino can do good. I don't know. Obviously, again, I don't know what the uh, enemy team is running. But I know what... Alright, we're going to have to try to get behind cover here. Advance just enough to get behind cover. guys are pushing real hard. Try to take this guy's Ansel shield. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do any damage to him, but at least take down his shield so my teammates, if any of them have splash, we can work on this guy together. waiting for me to make a move. Oh, dang it. There's that guy on the side. Just to see if we can't... Oh, oh, we lost our shield. Okay. Um... Hmm. Alright, we need some heavy firepower now. Um, and I definitely don't want anything ranged because we do need to grab beacons. You guys are going to be holding the beacon advantage if we don't make a move here. And this game is be over before it even started. Stay out of the 350 meter range. So that guy is going to be advancing towards us. We can start hitting his Ansel at uh, over 300, 350, uh, 300 meters. Oh, 320, 330, that's even 340, you're already actually hitting the Ansel. So they are super confident right now, and that's why that Griffin jumped like that. They have the right to be super confident because they got a sport capped within the first couple of minutes of the game. Oh, dang it. What is going on here? There's no point. <laughs> wow. Um, all right, again, same, same deal. Um, I want to pull out my RDB, but... We need to be able. To, we need to try to grab beacons if we want to win this.
take down my Ansel and then just unload. Yep. He's got the time. He's got, he's got all the time in the world. He's got no worries. Well, he actually should have gotten up in my face. I should move out to the pitcher's mount, but... Mm. Shouldn't I get rid of that? Oh! That guy got behind me! Wow. Alright. Well, that uh, was uh, game over right there. Wow. This was another one with just... I almost felt like I don't know where my teammates are the entire game. Yeah, and this is for sure a loss. I'm gonna jump for A. There ain't no way. There's no, no way. We gotta. We need the five cap right now, which is not possible. I hate signing off on a loss, so we're, we're gonna roll another game here, guys. Um, especially after like two losses like that in a row, I'm not sure what matchmaking is uh, thinking right now, but we're gonna roll out another game here real quick. Um, and this is gonna be our last game for the night. Bye, Mike. Hey, Mark. What's up, man? Yeah, those were two very frustrating losses. I don't want to. I don't want to finish like that. Hey, Andrew, man. What's up, man? Yeah, Mr. Warfreak, that's exactly why they did this update. Oh, it's those same guys again. Let's hope I have a better team this time. Let's start with our RDB. Um, last time they did start with a lot of Griffins. They started with a lot of Splash. Alright, so this guy's actually going to be easy. If he had seen that I'm coming this way, he'd probably not go this way. Oh, it's not the same guys. I saw Asian characters, I automatically assumed. And what are the first three letters of assume? <laughs> That's right. Whoever guessed, guessed right. None of that hit, dang it. Now I have my jump and he doesn't though. Yeah, he's probably gonna wait until his jump reloads. So I gotta keep an eye on him. It's uh, 25 seconds before he can jump again. So let's try to get behind cover here. Oh dang it, never mind. That yeah, one's done, ski. It looks like we're... Nope. Okay, I thought it was a 5v6. I was thinking if it is, that's not... That's not cool. Let's use 
These are a rush to move back, because I have a feeling that this guy's coming out for me now. My Ansel shield is taking a hurting. His workings are probably reloaded by now. Alright, there I end up one going that way. I'm going to try to move the other way. Protect my teammates and prevent these guys from getting center. has either angle he wants, he could have easily corner shot at me. Oh, I guess the Fury Tridents. Never mind. That makes perfect sense. He was afraid of the Fury Tridents. Let's reload. Let's give this guy our energy shield. Rush backwards. Let's focus on this gala head right now. Of course, try to corner and shoot. Okay, that's why we're gonna flank and go around. Instead, we're gonna try to go to their home actually. Right now, based on what they got going on there, they have really um, complementing setups. So, my best option is uh, trying to make a move for their home here. Additional pressure on them. Uh, the beacon pressure, of course, is going to uh, help us. They're, they're playing pretty conservative right now, so the guys behind me. This is the reason why, you know, a, a carnage, um, a carnage trip, is definitely not ideal. And I do see these guys are playing somewhat conservative, and uh, we're getting B beacon right now. They have a major beacon advantage on them. We are going to bring out this bush because I did want to try it out. Um, I never had a good impression of this robot. Never thought too highly of it. That guy's just going to corner shoot at me. Okay, you guys need to advance, bro. As soon as that, uh... Tch! We got away on time. Nine second reload. Just about nine second reload on those tridents. This guy's gonna try to corner shoot again, but... Let's see if I can... Nope. Oh, wait, oh! Down his Ansel. Help my buddy. Because they're all so close to us and there is an Ansel shield there, definitely a better option than the, the Tridents, but now, now the Tridents can be effective. Nice! Alright. Go ahead. Hmm. This is interesting. I'm gonna say this is the worst bot ever. This could be this could be pretty useful in, in like a good team setting. Time for a new bot, bruh. <laughs> Your little carnage stun trebs. <laughs> so useless. <laughs> Alright, we got 
plasma coming over from the other side. Just out of range. I think that's double damage right there, actually. Those guys are so close to each other. You want to try to separate yourself, not be too close. If there's splash on the other side, try to separate a little bit. Um, that extra distance is going to uh, make sure that you, you know the enemy doesn't get uh, double damage on you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight for another episode of PYOB Monday. It was awesome having you. Of course, next week, same time, 9.30 Central, we will be having another episode of PYOB. Thank you to you guys, my moderators, David Swinton and Mythic, uh, for moderating this channel. Also, um, it, we, have, we have another another two. We have Billy and um, Billy and Theo. I don't think I saw Theo tonight. He probably just didn't make it. Thank you guys for being here, and thank you for moderating my channel. And David and uh, Mythic, thank you for moderating this chat. Uh, for those of you who kept the chat friend, uh, friendly and drama free, I appreciate you guys. For those of you who are a little naughty, please, um, you know, make sure this isn't a family channel, you know, and um, we do say what we want here, but on the other hand, guys, we do have to be careful, especially when um, Pixonic is uh, featuring it. Uh, we are going to be having people here who are a little sensitive. To those of you who uh, are sensitive about language and things like that, I apologize in advance. I have gamer rage and I, um, and I, very frequently rage. Um, also, I hope you guys enjoyed that new, um, the new uh, uh, addition, the uh, now playing song on the bottom of the screen. Um, this is when I upload videos, and I know I haven't been doing much of that recently. It's just been, uh, you know, I've been working so much. Uh, I get up really early, and then I go to work, and I come home at like. You know, uh, anywhere between 7 and 8 p.m. Uh, with just enough time to, you know, spend some time with family. And, and sometimes I actually have homework. And it's just been crazy. So I, I don't have as much time to war robots. Um, but... Um, but when I do upload videos, I always have in the description, I put the, the names of the songs. So here, this is kind of something that I was able to add. Um, yeah. Once again, thank you, you guys for joining. If you enjoyed this live stream, go ahead and hit the thumbs up so more people can see it. If you haven't yet, hit the chain fire watermark on the bottom of the screen to subscribe to my channel. This way you will be notified when I post videos and go live. And I hope to see you all real soon in my next video. I'm going to switch the screens over here and I'm going to go over the PYOB screen while I say goodbye to those of you who are still here. But to those of you who are leaving right now, y'all have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your week. I love you. Take it easy. Bye. Hey, Noob King. Hello and goodbye. Bye, Mr. Warfreak. Bye, Faded. Good night to everyone who's going to bed. <laughs> All right, David. Well, thanks for moderating and thanks for uh, keeping an eye out for me. Bye, Mark. <laughs> Baby chain. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, brah. Bye, Reem. Bye, Max. Bye, Andromen. You want to talk? Um, send me a message on Facebook. I'll um, I'll actually have a chat with you after this on uh, Facebook or on Discord, whatever is better for you. But uh, after I'm done the live stream, send me a message. It might take like 10, 20 minutes before I can get back to you, but I will. Bye, Wild Boy. It's good playing with you, man, and against you actually. <laughs> take it easy. Hey, Max. Goodbye, brother. Have a good night. Well, don't worry, Noob King. The uh, live stream will be available for replay later on. The Gaming Dark Reaper. My moderators have been with me pretty much since I started my channel or a little bit after. Um, the moderators were all people who were on um, pretty much every live stream of mine ever since I, I, I started almost. Um, that's how they got their status. Um, I don't just give out mod status, you, it's it's something earned, you know, and these guys earned it by, you know, being part, an active part. Um, by, uh, you know, being an active part of the, of the, um, the chat in, in my live streams. <laughs> Mr. 
it's your blade. <laughs> you, 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 I don't know if we want to get rid of you that easily. Bye, Prince Ladas. Pince. Pince. Ladas. No after party tonight, I'm sorry. Um. If you are an iOS player, Paul, um, send me a message on Facebook. Hopefully, one of these days we'll get together a bunch of people and we'll 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 run for a good hour or two. Um, but yeah, definitely iOS players. I'll you know we can run a, a game or two and, and we'll see what you got and you know based on I guess you know just um, levels, I can do like a, a running with running with fans night something like that. My pleasure, Kenneth. Take it easy, man. Later, bro. Nighty night, Elk. Bye, man. PYOB stands for Pick Your Own Build. Ura blade. <laughs> oh well, I'm I'm I might be getting an Android account. Um, I'm actually thinking of buying a Android tablet and joining you guys so I can run with some of y'all. We'll see about that. My name on Facebook is David Burnham. Let me go ahead and post a link to my Facebook for those of you who don't have it yet. For those of you who don't have my Facebook, here you go. Hey, Nuck. What's going on, man? Good to see you, brother. Thanks to Gaming Dark Reaper. I'm glad to hear you like them, bro. I'm hopefully going to be bringing out more content, more videos uh, this coming up week. It's just like I said, you know, things have been so busy that I haven't been able to upload. But I actually got a couple of really good games today, so let's hope that my voice scares you. Uh, shit, that's what they all say. <laughs> good night, Jesus Beaver. My pleasure, you guys. It's always a pleasure having you. It's a pleasure rolling with you. It's a pleasure hanging out with you. I'm sorry, James. PYOB always uh, pretty much starts on time. That's 9.30 Central, so make sure to be here on time. Yeah, I know. Pixel actually, uh, Pixonic did uh, feature this one, and hopefully, we're actually going to be featured every week uh, from now on on PYOB Monday. Um, Pixonic likes the idea, and you know they 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 like that. They like that when people are able to you know pick your own build and uh, and see it run. You know, see it uh, because a lot of the, a lot of the players these days are are pretty much either new to the game or. Uh, don't have as much experience, not sure what to do in different situations. Um, I know that, you know, I my, even my gameplay with a lot of these builds is a little rusty. So it's nice for me also. Um, and the more I do this, you know, PYOB gives me the opportunity to stay, um, you know, stay sharp with the different robots that I don't normally run. Good night, Mythic. Alrighty, you guys. Once again, thanks for joining. I love you all. Hope you have an awesome week, and I will see you hopefully in my next live stream or video. Thank you again for joining. Goodbye and good night.